Okay, I'm in my Google Drive, and one of the best things about Drive is you can collaborate with others. You can share a folder or a file. I could share a whole folder, or I can just share a particular file. So let's say I wanted to share this file. I would click on it. You notice I get the drop-down box here, Share, or I could right-click and share. Now, you could email people. You could email it as an attachment, or most people will probably just hit this share screen here. And right now, it's private. So I'm the only one that could access this or make changes. If I want, I can share this with anybody on the web, anyone with a link, anyone within Frederick County Public Schools. So it would actually go in their shared folder. Um, or people at Frederick County Public Schools with a link then could access. So if I emailed the link out, they could also access that. Most of the times, you're probably just going to invite people or maybe students to uh, view or uh, probably most of the time to view or they could actually comment on your document. So I'm just going to say view and I would just type um, if I created a group, a distribution list, I could add that group or maybe I'll just invite Bill Smith and I could add a message, hey take a look at my fun document, see what you think and if I wanted to, if I hit share and save, it would actually um, notify those people via email that I shared that document. If I didn't want to notify Bill, if I just wanted to share it with him, maybe he's down the hall from me, another teacher, he realizes, um, you know, I can just share it with him and um, without sending him a notification. So um, that's one of the great things about Google Drive is you can share a document. No more exchanging flash drives or CDs or things like that or having to put it on a, a shared folder. You can just automatically share it. And once you do share it, you could take the sharing rights away as well. So good luck and uh, good luck with Google Drive and Google Docs.